My name is Omer and you are watching Omer's workshop. Today I am going to do the wiring and setting of the XM18 SW. We have these sensors, humidity sensor and temperature sensor. This is the Wi-Fi USB. First we have to power it on. So I am using this 2 pin plug. And it will be connected to L and N, load and neutral. For the heating purpose, I am using these bulb holders for the heating. First heater will be connected in this deficient temperature and second one is going to the temperature controller. Both the heaters are connected now. I'm going to connect the motor which is 60k TYZ motor and it has uh, three wires. Be sure that you are buying this whole system otherwise you have to do the connection by yourself which is very difficult. So for the main wire we have to see which wire is going into the center. This is the power wire and these two are the motor wires. You can see this motor have blue and this micro switch have green wire over here and they are gonna board in this turn right turn left and the yellow one is going into the comb For the exhaust system, I am using this exhaust fan, one wire into the excessive temperature and one wire into the comb. Now I have to connect this humidifier and I am using this female plug for that so I don't have to cut out the wire. One of them is going to get into the humidity control and second one is going to the comb. Same plug as the excessive temperature for the exhaust fan. To join them together, place it in the comb. Our this side of the wiring is done. Now we have to go for the sensor wiring. We have the sensor, temperature sensor have two wires and the humidity sensor have three wires. For the humidity sensors, we have to place this yellow wire into the edge. The black wire into the GNT ground. the red wire into 5 volt one wire is going into the T for the temperature and second wire is going into the 5 volt now you can see the wiring all of the basic wiring have been done and the extra wiring are fan and light. These two things can be placed separately but we have the option to directly control it from the main buttons. So I'm using this LED light. Using this fan as the ventilation fan which throw air onto the heater and evenly distribute inside the incubator so this is supposed to be 220 wattage all our wiring have been done and let's set and check i'm using these 100 watt bulbs
okay all the wiring are working perfectly now let's check them out for the fan i'm gonna turn on it's working okay for the light it's working okay and if I, I want to manually turn off the heaters and the humidifier i can turn them off from here but the deficient lamp is not uh, turned off by that it will still keep working okay now we have to check the motor for checking out the motor you have to keep pressing the upper button and the motor will work can see motor working goes back it will turn on that way and it will turn off when it reaches over here like this it will turn off and then it will keep continuing working our motor is working perfectly for checking the temperature alarm is on and the exhaust fan is also working you can turn off the alarm by pressing down button one time when it reaches 37.5 it will turn off the exhaust and turn on the heater again for setting the temperature and humidity setting you have to press the set button one time and it will blink and when it's blinking you can press up and down and then press ok mode and then it will 37.9 and it will go to the hh for the humidity and then you can set it up and down I'm gonna set it to 70 and keep press the set it will set it humidity starts working now let's check if humidity working perfectly I've set 80 if it reaches 80 it will turn off okay it have turn off so it's working perfectly on here you can see on the manual that you can change the settings according to your need if you are placing the chicken egg here are the settings designed for these hatching periods and temperature humidity all of these so you can choose according to your need this is goes and this is pigeon so if you want to change these settings according to your needs you have to keep press this mode button for up to 5 seconds and it will go on to the second option and then keep pressing it and then you can choose your desired option it will also count the days for you and all the settings from the hatching period to the incubation period it will do it all the things by automatically for the internal setting we have the p1 to p6 and then h1 to h4 then f1 to f8 if you want to set all these settings according to your needs if you want to change anything then you can go into this set button keep pressing the set button and press the up button you will go into the p1 settings if you want to change it you can change it by the buttons like this and then press the set button and you will keep going to the p2 and you can go up to p5 and it will again h1 humidity settings 
and it will go back to the normal position so it have came back into the normal position and if you want to go into the f1 setting you have to keep press the set button and down button and it will go for the f1 settings and keep pressing it and you will go back to the normal position for the wi-fi setting you can follow the manual place this usb wi-fi into this on your android mobile you have to search for the incubation and then press it and download it and open it up it is asking for my wi-fi password now will you have this kind of screen but before that you have to press this button over here one time it's showing this wi-fi on after that you have to press the esp and then ok and then step has been done and it will search the device now this is showing this device on over here and click it out and now you can see all the settings over here right now it is showing exact same 30.5 30.5 and 30.6 around and humidity is 56 and you can use it anywhere in the world set the temperature by your thing you can see the screen is also working with this and I can also change the setting of chicken neck duck goose dove custom from here as well and I have put it to the duck so you can do it by yourself setting of this XM18 SW so if you like this video please like share and subscribe have a nice day bye